controversial comedian Dave Chappell returned to Portland for a talk show in April. Dave Chappelle has never been shy about speaking his mind, a quality that has won him both the support of loyal fans and, especially in recent months, made him a target of criticism. One of the most popular names in comedy, Chappelle is returning to Portland for a stand-up show on April 20 at the Moda Center. Tickets will go on sale starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time on Friday, February 18, on Vivid C. In his career, Chappelle has been awarded the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor and earned nominations and honors for his work in TV and film, including his classic sketch comedy series, Chappelle's Show, and his appearances hosting Saturday Night Live. Chappelle has also starred in a series of Netflix stand-up comedy specials, including The Closer, in 2021. That special drew protest from members of the transgender community because of comments Chappelle made, including gender is a fact. Every human being in this room, every human being on Earth, had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on Earth. That is a fact. As CNN reported, some of the protests that followed Netflix streaming The Closer included a call from the National Black Justice Coalition asking for the special to be pulled off the streaming service, with 2021 on track to be the deadliest year on record for transgender people in the United States, the majority of whom are black transgender people in Netflix should know better. Perpetuating transphobia perpetuates violence, David Johns, executive director of the National Black Justice Coalition, said in a statement, as CNN reported. Netflix did not pull the closer. Though some Netflix employees did organize a walkout and a demonstration in response to the special, and how the company handled employee concerns about it. Chappelle addressed the backlash to The Closer in a video, as Variety reported. Chappelle said he was willing to meet with transgender Netflix employees or other members of the trans community, but that he wouldn't give in to anybody's demands. As the Variety report said, Chappelle said in the video that his response to the controversy had been inaccurately reported. It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees of Netflix and I refused, Chappelle said. That is not true. If they had invited me I would have accepted it although I am confused about what we would be speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said, Chappelle continued. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. It seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. Chappelle has also turned up in the news because of issues not related to a comedy special. The comedian recently spoke in opposition to an affordable housing development that was proposed for Yellow Springs, Ohio. Chappelle, who lives in the area, was criticized for seeming to stand in the way of affordable housing. In response, Chappelle issued a statement that included quotes from his representative. As the Associated Press reports, Carla Sims, a spokesperson for Chappelle said, Dave Chappelle didn't kill affordable housing. Concerned residents and a responding village council killed a half-baked plan which never actually offered affordable housing. Sims' statement said, neither Dave nor his neighbors are against affordable housing, however, they are against the poorly vetted cookie-cutter, sprawl-style development deal which has little regard for the community, culture and infrastructure of the village. When Chappelle performs in Portland, no cell phones, cameras or recording devices will be allowed. As the press release spells out, upon arrival, all phones and smartwatches will be secured in yonder pouches that will be unlocked at the end of the show. Guests maintain possession of their phones throughout the night, and if needed, may access their phones at designated yonder unlocking stations in the lobby. Anyone caught with a cell phone in the venue will be immediately ejected. More of our coverage. Thousands flock to Pioneer Courthouse Square to see Dave Chappelle. Were Dave Chappelle's Portland shows worth the hype? Subscribe to our free weekly What to Watch newsletter. Email Christy Turnquist. Turnquist at Oregonian.com 503221827 at Krista Turnquist.